What's going on Neon Nation? Welcome back to the channel for some cyberpunk lore. Today we're talking about some really interesting aspects of the cyberpunk lore in Borg's and full cybernetic body conversions. In today's video, we'll be learning about exactly what they are, some of the cybernetics and cyberware options Borgs have, some of the packages and standard issue conversion types available, as well as some of the deadlier and more useful types. Some of you guys have been asking about where I get my information to make these lore videos, so in the future, at the beginning, I will tell you guys where the information comes from. Today it's mainly from Cyberpunk Chromebook number 2 and Cyberpunk Asia's amazing full body conversion resource. Let's get right into it. In early 2005, military forces across the world in the Cyberpunk universe were experimenting with full cybernetic body conversions and in this time first identified and diagnosed the mental disposition of cyberpsychosis. In 2020, full Borgs are very popular, mainly in the workforce as they outsmart, outmuscle and can outwork the general population. Firefighters, construction workers, and space explorers have started to replace their human bodies with all their limits with full cybernetic bodies. These are referred to as full Borgs. These full body conversions are created by implanting a biological system into a metal endoskeleton with a myomar fiber musculature, cybernetic nervous system, fully cybernetic limbs, and body armor. All of this comes together and creates a cyborg or Borg. The process of converting from flesh to completely metal is performed all at once and because the surgery is so extreme has some big risks including death. The process involves placing the patient's brain, a portion of the spinal cord, and a few vital organs, often referred to as a biopod, into a robotic body. Most functions by internal organs, like the lungs and heart, are replaced with cybernetic and high efficiency technology. A full conversion cybernetic lungs are an incredibly efficient filtration and oxygenation system, almost eliminating the need to breathe. Full Borgs can eat, they cannot engage in sexual activity or reproduce, and for their own mentality and psychology, are required to sleep. Full conversions are generally very customizable and can swap and interchange cyber limbs and weapons. Although Full Borgs have more job opportunities in day to day life due to their proficiency at almost everything, there still is a social stigma attached to them, and conversions are many times dehumanized. The derogatory term for full body conversions are metalheads. Full Borgs are usually created through corporate sponsorships. As you can imagine, there are many trade-offs to undergoing this process to become a full Borg. Corporations offer contracts for full conversions in an effort to make more money with their increased employee efficiency. There are a variety of time lengths of these contracts, and after they have run their course, the conversion can decide to downgrade to a more human form. While most conversions are done with a rigid corporate structure, there still are street Borgs who have converted in much more illegal ways and usually end up with fully fledged cyberpsychosis. Some other rumors in 2020 are that human minds can actually be implanted into tanks, jet planes, and even cyber animals. Next, let's look into total body cyberware. This list covers all the basic components in making a full Borg. A full Borg conversion uses all of these items. In headwear, we have a neural processor, interface plugs, and cyber optics and audio. In cyber limbs, we have cyber arms, hands, arm armor, cyber legs, and feet as well as leg armor. Body plating includes a skull plating called a cowl, as well as a face and torso plate. In terms of the types of conversions, we have basic conversions all the way up to a military grade full Borg. First, we have the basic alpha class conversion from one of the largest manufacturers of cybernetics, IEC or International Electric Cybernetics. This generic design has similar models offered by Raven Micro Cybernetics, Militech, and Dynalar Tech. This design strongly resembles a human, although stands 6 foot 6 inches tall and is a beefy 350 pounds. Its physical capabilities rival that of maximum human potential. Next we have the Aquarius by Dynalar Technologies, which is a submarine full conversion. This conversion is designed for underwater environments and is superior to any other diving system. It's mainly used for undersea exploration, mining, aquaculture, and covert operations, and can operate underwater for 16 hours and can dive to the depths of up to 16,000 feet. The Aquarius features several sensor systems to navigate at depths and even takes a page out of the Electric Eels playbook by having the ability to release a high voltage electric current underwater to fend off any deep sea animals. Next we have the Copernicus by Cybermatrix Incorporated, a space use full conversion. This is developed to combat the hostile vacuum and radiation of space. 
for deep space exploration, the Copernicus comes in handy. Featuring a shell protected from EMP, microwaves, cosmic rays, and electromagnetic storms, the Copernicus is also agile in space with the ability to get up to 200 miles per hour with its compact rocket propulsion system. Copernicus has a radio beacon with a 100 km range and has a 3-shot goop ball launcher on the right arm to patch up holes in space structures. It's a cyberpunk equivalent to Flex Seal. Next we have the Eclipse Covert Operations Full Conversion by Militech. In the world of cyberpunk, cops are constantly tested and at risk. With these increased risks, Militech's security division has introduced this law enforcement conversion package to those who qualify. Hardwired for superior response time and with ground speeds that can match vehicles, the Enforcer is a force to be reckoned with. The Enforcer helps all police divisions from street patrol to the psycho squad. The Enforcer also features a voice stress analyzer, black book microcomputer, a taser, and pop out weapon holsters. Next, we have Dynalar Technologies Brimstone Firefighting Conversion. Obviously, created to fight Night City's fires, this conversion is immune to smoke inhalation burns, pressure changes, and can do the work of an entire squad of firemen. Amplified hearing allows the brimstone to hear where trapped victims are inside blazes and has a CO2 fire extinguisher built into its left arm. Next up we have the Gemini Humanoid Full Conversion from Raven Micro Cybernetics. Although full body conversions have a ton of advantages, society still treats you as a metalhead and a machine. Looking like a robot leads to people treating you like a robot. And in response to this, Raven Micro Cybernetics has created this package that stimulates the human body in form with all the advantages of a full conversion. Gemini features a chassis designed similarly to the human skeletal structure and is fitted with Exoderm, a synthetic skin that looks like real human skin. The package is lightweight, which simulates the weight of a normal human. The Wingman is a full body conversion used by fighter pilots to withstand the trying atmospheres and G-force associated with flying. AI guided missiles demand fighter pilots to have pinpoint precise decision making and the wingman has 6 interface plugs allowing the ultimate bridge between man and aircraft. There is a gyro stabilizer built into the head to prevent dizziness and a buffed bio system which helps fend off blackouts. Cyber optics and pinpoint precision is a mainstay of this conversion. The Samson is an industrial use full conversion with the ability to create the perfect construction worker. This conversion creates a worker who never gets tired, has incredible strength, and has the ability to survive almost any accident. Samson can unload any cargo and is packed with a welder, torch, and other construction tools. Samson is also chipped to troubleshoot any problems. Finally, we have the granddaddy of all conversions, the Dragoon Military Use Conversion. With the modern battlefield having remote control drones, fighter jets, mini tanks and combat bikes, the Dragoon was developed by IEC to be the deadliest weapon known to man. The Dragoon cannot be bought on the open market and even big corporations struggle to get their hands on it. At 8 feet tall and 620 pounds, it can perform every part of a military operation. Protected against nuclear, biological, chemical and electronic warfare, it's packed with the latest and most powerful weaponry on the market. The Dragoon does suffer from one setback and that is crippling cyberpsychosis. To combat this, the Dragoon has an off-duty mode due to the human brain not being able to cope when implanted into this conversion. It is only fitted with the biopod when it's about to be deployed and a behavioral inhibitor program unloads a barrage of psychoactives into the mind to turn it into a loyal soldier. Full body conversions can accept almost all types of cyberware and the only limitations are how much space they have. Examples of this are customizing your particular conversion to set it apart from others, increase stats, install quick change mounts, and interchangeable biopods. Thank you guys for watching and for everything and anything Cyberpunk 2077, join Neon Nation by subscribing.